Paul, I know you touched on this a little bit, but I'm just curious when we talk about the coaching tree, we talk about the innovation, you talk about the personality. You've been around so many incredible college coaches. What makes him so different? Is it the personality? M Molly, it is. And uh, I spent a number of uh, days with him years ago. He was out of coaching, and uh, he, he, he ended up getting a job for Sirius XM Radio, uh, Molly and Stephen A. Mm -hmm. And he would do his show from his back porch uh, facing the ocean in Key West. And, and that's when I think we, we all, uh, I mean, we knew about some of this irreverency, but this was on a daily basis. Um, and I would, I would spend time with him. I, I was affiliated with the network as well back then. And just... I mean, sitting around for 30 minutes, an hour between shows, he, would, he was a great student of history. In fact, he taught a class at, at Washington State. Uh, they, he was concerned they'd, they'd get 100 people that would sign up for it. They ended up getting 50,000 requests. They had to do a lottery, uh, and it was the most coveted class on, on that calendar that year. And that's just who he was. I, I think he, I don't think he, for all of his genius in football, and some of us can, out there watching can relate to this, that was, that was not what he enjoyed. Uh, I mean, he, he, was, he was best at, at coaching football, but, but he loved to talk about politics. And he had a very specific view, uh, which made a lot of his bosses nervous at times. Uh, he loved to talk about uh, irreverent things. Uh, you, know, you just never... Uh, 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 Alyssa Lang, who works for the SEC Network, interviewed him a couple weeks ago after a game, and she joked about uh, being uh, engaged and was about to be married. And he... Right after a game, he began giving her uh, marital advice uh, live on television. Uh, I mean, and that's what made the public uh, gather around him and, and embrace him so much. But I think often we forgot what a great coach he was. He never really was at the major programs of Washington State, Texas Tech, Mississippi State. He never had the best players, well, but he developed players, and his system beat a lot of the, the better coaches. Paul, and that's my question to you. Is there uh, – could you crystallize for us what jobs out there he didn't get that he should have had because of what yes. he brought to the uh, table as a college coach? There's a great story here, Stephen. A couple of years ago, Tennessee made a change, and they were uh, they, they replaced Butch Jones, uh, and the athletic director went out and and secretly met with Mike Leach and offered him the job. Coach Leach told me the story later. Because of his irreverency, the the school was nervous about it. The chancellor found out, recalled the athletic director fired the man on the spot, and they ended up hiring Jeremy Pruitt, not a name that you'll probably see uh, in, the, in the College Football Hall of Fame anytime soon. And think about Mike Leach uh, at Tennessee. Well, it's easy to think about Mike Leach at Tennessee because Josh Heupel, one of his disciples, has, has taken Tennessee in two years uh, to, uh, to within a whisker of the college football playoff. If he had ever so had the compliments of talent at Tennessee or Alabama or schools like that, he, he would have won national championships. So the coach, so the athletic, the, the athletic director was fired for not hiring Mike Leach? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Correct. Okay. Uh, he was, he was, he was, he, well, the athletic director was fired for trying to hire Mike Leach. Oh, uh, yeah. Because, I mean, the, the problem with Coach Leach, he, he would walk in an interview uh, and speak his mind, uh, which – in, in, the, in the world of high-level high academia, that didn't work. Uh, he, was just, he was just too smart for the people that uh, he would end up working for. So Tennessee ended up with a guy who, who instead of him, they hired Jeremy Pruitt. Uh, and ultimately, uh, the program is now uh, – it's winning, but it was also, it was also under investigation, and, and Pruitt went down in, in absolute flame. So, I mean, these things – you, you can't make them up, but that, that's really uh, one of the most interesting stories that I can ever remember about Mike Leach. Paul, before we let you go, I just want to say uh, I'm sorry for your loss, and thank you so much for being with us this morning. The intimate stories and details, uh, really special context that we couldn't get from anyone else other than you, the great Paul Feinbaum. Thank you so much. And our thoughts and prayers go out to Mike Leach's family as well as he passed at the age of 61, far too young. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.